What's up guys? This is a new adapter that came out by Wavelink and I'm pretty much going to destroy this box. Uh, but basically this is an Ethernet adapter uh, that connects via USB-C to your computer and it allows internet speeds of up to 5 gigabits per second or local area speeds of up to 5 gigabits per second. So I'm going to make this a super crazy test review. In fact, I have two of these. I brought both a Windows laptop and a MacBook. This was the one with the M1 Max chip. Uh, so it's not the latest one, but it's fairly fast. And this MSI Windows laptop is also not the latest one, but it's still fairly fast. It's, it's about a year old or something, where the MacBook is, what, like three years old now? But essentially, we're going to do some speed tests. And then I'm going to do a local speed test after I do the internet speed test. So we'll start off with the internet speed test. I'm going to click go. I'm going to zoom in with the camera so you guys could see what I'm doing. So my internet speeds are 5 gigabits per second upload and download. And we're going to see what this can get. Now, I am the, the time of day you run it and the server you connect to, all of this stuff can make a difference. But it looks like we're getting pretty, actually pretty good speeds out of this thing. So 4.6 down, 4.2, almost 4.3 up. Those are actually some pretty good speeds. It's not the full 5 gig speeds, but it's, it's pretty close. So now let's do the same speed test with this other computer. Oh, that's the open speed test server. It's not what I wanted open. Okay. You know, let's, let's try the same server, uh, reliable site hosting, just, just to make it apples to apples on a Windows computer versus a MacBook. So it is important to note that the, your USB-C port on your computer also has to support at least five gig speeds. So do keep that in mind. So both of these can support the speed, so we're getting some really good speeds. So after this, we're going to do a, we'll do a local speed test. But I, actually before that, I want to show you guys one anomaly, which was weird, which I, which I noticed. And this is why I like the local speed test. So we'll start off with this. So I went to fast.com. In fact, I got 5.3 <laughs> gigs as a download speed, which was crazy. I, I didn't think I'd get over five, but actually got over five. So... As you guys could see, I'm, it looks like I'm, I got over five again, which is very impressive. Download only. However, on the Windows laptop, for some odd reason, I can't get to those speeds. So if I go to fast.com, the highest I saw was two gigs on this. It's like 1.8 to two gigs. and It's even slower than that right now. Okay, 1.7. So I don't know why the speed test by Ookla got me to those crazy fast speeds, but on fast.com it didn't. Whereas on the MacBook, I got to, both of them were pretty fast. So, but this is why I'm not a fan of the internet speed test. So unless there's something wrong with my browser or something, but I don't think so. I, I think it should, I, I mean, it should work. I don't do too many speed tests on the computer. I mostly do them on on my main desktop PC, not on the laptops, but I haven't really ran into a browser issue. And uh, now I'm going to do a local speed test. And in fact, actually, before I do the local speed test, I quickly wanted to say that on the MacBook, I just plugged it in and it worked. On the Windows laptop, I actually had to go to wavelink.com, um, uh, basically forward slash en underscore us forward slash drivers. And that took me to the driver's page. I clicked on this link, which was this. This is the model number, WLNWU340G-A. It opened this up, and then I downloaded the Windows drivers, and I installed that. And then it was able to go to the crazy fast speeds. Because before when I plugged it in, the internet worked, but it wasn't fast at all. So I had to install the drivers, and after I installed the drivers on the Windows, it started working fast. On the MacBook, I did nothing. It just found it it said do you want to use this and i was like yeah and then that was it it was macbook was very very simple all right so now we're going to do a local speed test and i'm going to do a local speed test to each other and then i'm going to do a local speed test to my mac but actually before we let's let's do it to my mac mini because my mac mini's up and that that can go up to 10 gigs so i'm the ip address is 192.168.1.3. So this is actually my Apple laptop is going to my Mac mini. 
So let me let me zoom in so you guys could see the the IP address. So that's the IP address that my Mac Mini is, and then and then I'll set it up for the IP address to each other. But this is pretty close to five gig speeds, and this is why I like the local speed test because it's very consistent, typically speaking. And I really, really like that. This one is also hooked up to 1.3. And let me zoom into that, this one, so you guys could see the IP address. There it is. And again, getting some crazy, crazy fast speeds. But I will do a local speed test to each other as well. And um, it's funny because when I do it to each other, it's not quite as fast. So I don't know if that's because it's, there's really two conversions happening, Ethernet to USB-C, and, and because it's happening that, I, I actually, I don't know what the reason is, but let's just do it. So this one, my IP address that I need to connect to, as you guys could see, is that one dot, uh, that 120. So I'm going to go to this computer and I'm going to type in dot 120. And if you guys want to know how to set this up, I have a separate video on this where I show you guys how to set it up. And this, I, I like open speed test server is awesome. I've been using it for years now and it's very consistent. It's super easy to use. It just works. So now what this MSI laptop is doing is it's going to the MacBook laptop and it's, so it's, it's interesting because the download speed is not as fast, but the upload's going to be fast. And then the vice versa is, is going to be true for the MacBook. So when the MacBook goes to the MSI, it's going to have a fast download, but the upload is going to be like that number. So I'm going to show you guys that. So this guy's, in fact, let me show you guys that this guy, did I show you guys that this was the 120? Okay, there it is. That's the 120. And I want to show you. Okay, so I'm going to go open speed test. Uh, so you guys can see that's 1.125. That's what I'm going to type in for this guy. 125. Okay, and then I'm going to click start. So. I'm going to show you guys that it's hooked up to 125, as you guys can see right there. This this lens on this camera, I, I really like this camera, but the lens on it doesn't have like, I don't have super zoom capabilities on this lens. In fact, I could zoom into this just so you guys could see that running. But it's, it's interesting because, and let me minimize this other guy. Um, it's interesting because it's literally vice versa. So the 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 upload of this is is almost the same as the download of that and and the and the upload of this is the same as the download of that Sim very similar not the same but very very similar so i don't know why that is i don't know it's because there's two of them and they're doing ethernet to usb c whereas when i was going to my mac mini it was just one conversion that was happening ethernet to usb c but now there's two conversions happening, right? So the computer goes from USB-C to Ethernet, it goes through my switch and it comes back and it goes again, Ethernet back to USB-C. Is that the reason? I don't know, but the upload and download are still pretty, f like the upload on this is fast and the download on, on this is fast. And again, when these computers go to the Mac mini, which just has a built-in 10 gig network switch, they both get very fast speeds. So. What do you think that, what do you, I, I don't know, I, I'm, I don't actually know what the causes of that. I'm, I'm thinking because there's two conversions happening from Ethernet to USB-C, maybe that's what's slowing it down, but I'm, I'm actually not sure because one of the speeds did get to almost five gigs. But the point of this video is that for the most part, this does get pretty close to five gigs, especially if I'm just using one of them. It's not perfect, but it's, pretty good it's it, and for the price it's actually very good so i genuinely really really like it i was using another one for the laptop for the macbook that was up to 2.5 gigs now this one goes up to 5 gigs and even though it doesn't quite get to the 5 gigs for some of the tests or most of them it does get pretty close to it so overall i'd say it's a pretty good product we'll see how long it lasts but 
If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. And uh, let, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. And if you guys know the reason why, I would like to know. Just leave it in the comment sections below. I typically don't see this. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.